A wise man once said, not all best personal web hosting providers are created equally. I think it might have been uh, Einstein or some other guy. That's why choosing the best web hosting provider for the right project is the most important job. But to make this task just a little bit easier for you, I've messed with many web hosting companies and I'm here to show you how to choose a hosting plan that is perfect just for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You didn't hear the news? Well, apparently the internet is buzzing right now since I've left the best, most up-to-date discount links in the description down below. No one can tell what amazing fortune falls on those who use them. Look, let's be real for a second. No one wants to spend tons of money on anything, let alone hosting. If you're just starting out, for example, or aren't sure about your project's future, which is fine, there's nothing better than Hostinger. It's the provider that I personally recommend to my friends and colleagues. It's simple, and you know what? It works. But okay, okay, so what is the price? Hostinger is one of the best personal hosting providers since its plans currently start from as low as $2 a month. Of course, as with all hosting, to get the cheaper price, you'll need to opt in for the longest hosting period. In Hostinger's case, that's gonna be four years. Now, for a beginner, that is a hefty investment. But think about it in this way. You get four years of hosting for under $100, which in today's economy is like, what, uh, two cups of coffee? Sure, Hostinger isn't that great if you're only looking for short-term hosting. For that, you should look at something like Bluehost. But what Hostinger is great at is renewal pricing. In this industry, it's kind of a natural thing to raise the price three, four, or even five times, but Hostinger only doubles it. So even after renewals, it ends up being rather affordable. But I won't recommend you just cheap hosting. Hostinger also has some of the fastest loading websites, you can get faster loading times with dedicated providers or something like SiteGround. But then again, you probably won't be paying $2 a month. Now, after my hosting review, testing results are always good. For simple WordPress hosting, it always loads between 1.3 seconds and uh, 2.1. And to put it into perspective, Google's recommended time is around 2.5 seconds. So Hostinger is fast and affordable. As you can probably get by now, Hostinger is a simple hosting provider. That's why I hesitate to call it the best hosting provider for beginners. There is no free website builder and you don't get any marketing tools or for that matter, easy WordPress install. Don't get me wrong though, it's not like Hostinger is complicated or something, but it does have a slight learning curve. If you're ready to learn something about website management, then I would recommend Hostinger. If Hostinger wasn't the best approach for beginners, Bluehost Reviews states one thing. It is the provider if you're just starting out with hosting, or like me, loves WordPress. And the fact that this provider is one of the few recommended by WordPress creators themselves tells a lot. The pricing though is a bit steeper, but not by too much. You can host a single website for around $3 a month currently. The only con personally is the renewal price increase. The cheapest plan renews at around $10 and it's a change that you can really, really feel. What Bluehost is good at is hosting for shorter projects. Unlike Hostinger, with Bluehost Web Hosting, you get the best discount when getting a yearly billing period. Now, it's not perfect. I mentioned the steeper pricing and renewal increase, but it also has quite the limitations. The biggest one, in my opinion, is storage space. I mean, 10 gigabytes is excellent for a single website, but getting only 20 gigabytes for unlimited websites sounds like, uh, well, not that much. Have a few heavier media sites and you're out of space already. As for website management, it's really good. You get both the cPanel if you're more of an old school controls type of person, but you also can use the Bluehost custom dashboard to manage everything you needed. And it ends up being really easy to use. 
Like, let's install WordPress, all I need to do is type some info and that's it. My new website is alive and it doesn't stop there. You can manage many different WordPress settings straight from the Bluehost panel. I sometimes want to pay once and have all the resources I would need or in other words, a truly unlimited hosting provider. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, DreamHost is also recommended by WordPress and after working with it for a while, it makes perfect sense. DreamHost is kind of all about promises and they actually keep them. The first is useful if you're unsure about your project's future. Here, you get a 97 day money back guarantee. The next promise is a hefty one. They promise that your website will be accessible 100% of the time. So DreamHost, good performance and uptime, still affordable prices, unlimited resources, and a long money back guarantee. It's probably the best hosting for portfolios or websites with lots of media and other types of information. You can host a single website for under $3 a month. Currently, of course, if you want not to worry about storage space, I recommend going with the shared unlimited plan since it's just a few dollar increase for quite an upgrade. I also can recommend DreamHost for both short and long term projects since the price for one or three years of hosting is very similar. Okay, one thing DreamHost website hosting could do better is its control panel. It's still easy to use for sure, don't get me wrong, but compared to Bluehost, everything seems to be a bit all over the place. There is a lot of extra, seemingly unnecessary information plastered all over the dashboard, and some settings are a bit harder to locate. But to give a point back, DreamHost comes with not one, but two free website builders. So it's a good choice for beginners that want to build a site quickly. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to the Cyber News YouTube channel? There you'll find lots of fun and informative videos just like this one. Go and subscribe, I know you want to. So to wrap this best personal web hosting video, I'll tell you in what situation each of these is the best. Hostinger, the best cheap web hosting provider with great performance. Best for beginners that aren't afraid to learn a few things on the way. Great for blogs or small portfolios. Bluehost, easy to use and full of features. Truly one of the best choices if you're just starting out and want something beginner friendly. Best website hosting for WordPress or mid-sized portfolios slash blogs. DreamHost, a powerful and unlimited web hosting services provider that's great for all types of users. No matter if you're building a big blog or media heavy project, DreamHost is the best web hosting for any project. No matter which one you choose for your next big internet thing, remember to use those links on the screen to save as much as possible. So I have a question just for you, James. What type of website are you looking to build or host? A small personal blog? photography portfolio with lots of high-risk photos? These answers can help us better understand what you truly need from reviews and tutorials. So thanks for your answers. I'll see you all in my next video.